Okay, so now we're back. Welcome back, everybody, to the Dragon Age Keep. We just finished doing the Earl of Radcliffe, so now we'll do Nature of the Beast. How did the Warden resolve the problems between the werewolves and the elves? The werewolves were cured of the decades-long curse, and the Dalish joined the Warden's forces. I sided with the werewolves. Gained the werewolves as allies. Okay. Sided with the elves. Forging an alliance. Okay, so you can broker peace, but you won't get the werewolves as allies. You get the uh, werewolves as allies, which is kind of cool. Uh, prove this answer. Nope, I saw you. Come back. I did! I helped them! I did not. I... Oh, wait. Did we, wait. Focus on the blight. Warden did not take time to play matchmaker. Uh, Warden's intervention ensured the young couple did not get together. Warden played matchmaker, bringing the young couple together. What? It's interesting. Why are these... Like, some of these things, like the Bella thing, with the tavern thing, like, how does that affect later games? It's kind of interesting. I wonder if they were worried about making the keep, because they were worried that they might, um, like, give up too many spoilers of things or something. Like, um, too many hints on what was important, and it might affect people's playthroughs later on or something? I don't know. I'm sure it was a conundrum. I could not help the Laura! No! I couldn't help her. Why? I knew it. I tried so hard. <laughs> I couldn't help her. I couldn't help her. I felt really bad about it. Didn't tell. I did tell him about his wife's fate. What, else? what happens if you don't? Never learned the true fate of his wife. Told Athras about wife's fate. He took the news of his wife's turning poorly, but he knew the truth. Did, did he take it poorly? What did he do? Danya, a dying Dalish elf. Oh, look, they spelled it wrong. Dan, Dan, I think it's Dan, Daniela, but they spelled it Danya here. A dying Dalish elf who'd been turned into a werewolf begged the warden not to tell her husband Athras of her fate. This was what happened. I did. I did tell him. I did bring Iris. Oh, interesting. From a sizable portion, I Ironbark was never returned to the Dalish. I brought Baron Thorn Ironbark. Um, Dagan. Who is that? Wait. Didn't I? I did encounter. Uh. Didn't I find him? Uh, I don't remember the name, but I swear I found an elf. And I did. I did send him back. I s yeah. Didn't they say something like "Thank you for returning"? Our warrior or scout to us or something. I'm gonna not lock that in, but I'm gonna choose this answer because I'm pretty sure that that happened. Um, let me know again, and I'll I'll try to double check too. Maybe I should write down what, what I'm not sure of. Okay, so the Bella Redcliffe Tavern thing. Um. And, like, if somebody who has watched these recently can, like, tell me just right off the bat, that would be awesome. Because it's been a while since I've played them, obviously. But for people who just, like, watch them, sometimes it's easier and they notice things that I don't. So, and if you remember, um, Dagan, what was there, another one I was, I can't remember. Oh, the, uh, sword. Brevin and the sword. Dagan... Return to camp. Or not. Okay. We'll see how that goes. Okay, I think these are good. This is so fun! I like this! This is actually really fun. It's like a game in and of itself. Paragon of her kind. Um, defeated Bronca. I did. Car Caradon and the Warden defeated Bronca and destroyed the Anvil of the Void, ending both the threat it posed and the opportunity it, it represented. 
I um I did actually really want to play. Oh, somebody said what was it? it was like the Golems of Amgarak, because that apparently has a lot to do with like the Void and like the Golems, and I was very interested in those. And but I was like at the time I just really wanted to play Dragon Age too, so I'll probably do that with my second warden. Bronca, what you can do that? The warden convinced Bronca that her quest for the anvil was self-destructive. Bronca ultimately destroyed it. I think I wouldn't have wanted that anyway. By that time, my warden was very jaded. I do remember that. Joining forces with the warden against Keridan, Bronca set about uncovering the. No, she deserved to die. I that woman appalled me. What she what she did for this, and I know. The thing is, like, she didn't have, like, a red lyrium or anything else influencing her. This was just her, her own personality ended up, and, like, her drive is what corrupted her. And I like that. So, um, as far as I'm aware, I don't think there was anything else. Maybe the blight a little bit, but I don't think, she didn't look blighted, I don't think. Her lover did. Oh, dang, that was, that was horrible. That was horrible. You never want to do the deep roads again. <laughs> Ever. People are like, I hate the fade section. I'm like, I will do that 3,000 times. And I actually kind of like that section. I didn't have any... I mean, it was kind of roundabout, and it was like the one of the times I had to look up a wiki to figure out how to get through it. But once... I mean, it made sense. Once you read the wiki, you were like, oh, obviously I should have done it that way. You know, like the order. But actually, no, you wouldn't really know. You wouldn't actually know that I'm thinking about it. Like, it made sense once I was doing it, but you wouldn't know to get, like, the Burning Man power and then go to this place. Like, it didn't give you any particular order in which to do it. Yes. And I killed Bronca. Dang it. What else was there? Uh, was her name Filda? Filda? Oh, wait. Defeated Bronca. Okay. Balin, Balin does rule Orzammar. Following the inspired footsteps and leading with progressive eye. Wanting to reestablish firmer ties to the surface kingdom. Lock that into place. Child. He was such a child. Ah! Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh. Oh, uh, Filda was, was the son. I said, oh, what did I say? Did, did I say Ruck died? I think I did. Rock lived on. I'm interested to see how this would play out. I didn't speak to her. I told her he died. Told the truth. Uh, oh, okay. Rick lived on. Ruck lived on in his ghoulish half-life after an encounter with the warden and fell to her the harsh truth about his state. Killed Ruck and lied. Or... R killed Ruck and told the truth. Ruck became a ghoul for sending his dark spawn. Uh, shut up. Just don't mess anything up. Game. <laughs> or... Game. So, game. Semi-game. After sustaining the other, warden put him out of his misery and deemed the horrible truth worth sharing with Filda. The warden put Ruck, who had become a ghoul after sustaining himself darkspawn flesh, out of his misery. Filda knew only that her son died a hero. Okay, so does she actually, like, because she says she has to go find him. Like, does she do that? Because that was why I didn't tell her. I I think I lied. I think I said Ruck lied. Or Ruck died. I will double check. Ruck and... The thing is, is like, I, you know, I, I don't like... I should... Maybe it would be easier if I, like, tagged all the episodes or something and so I knew exactly what happened in each one. But I don't. Not on my computer and not on the YouTubes. I don't think you can. I don't know if you can. You kind of can on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I said he died. Di I did help him create the Chantry because somebody in the comments convinced me that free religious equality, even though I hate the Chantry. I don't hate the Chantry. I don't hate the Chantry. I dislike a lot of the people in the Chantry. I dislike the mentality that they perpetuate that a, um, a passive stance to everything is the, is the, is the solution. It's freaking not as, you know... El Elthina can tell you in Dragon Age 2 now. She freaking didn't before. It proved divine. And that was true because that did show up in the epilogue. And I was quite surprised that it did. Um, yes, yeah, so we helped him create the Chantry. I told him to make a plaque of me. Um, Zerlinda 
uh, what? Oh, okay. I was thinking it was the, the, the lady who broke her legs, but, or had her legs broken. She let his father convinced to take it, was convinced to their mutual relief. Oh, she left for the surface. Or to, oh, take it in by the chantry. Oh, no, left her son in the deep roads. No. Um, yes, no, we convinced him to take his daughter back. It was nice that it was not, like, forced either. Like, he realized, he, he, he was following tradition and all that, but it was something that pained him and his wife greatly, and he just needed a little bit more encouragement. And I think if they'd have kept tabs on her and realized exactly what she was going through, they might have just done it themselves. But sometimes you need a little bit of a push. You need a little bit of an outside help. Um, the traditions were very difficult to... You don't. You can't, like, fight against it, really, you know? Hi, doggy. He keeps coming into my room. He's like, take me on a walk. I'm like, no, not right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I helped her recounsel with her family. Um... Eric Garner for kind of, I'm sorry, dog, just, I'm sorry. He's just going to stare at me now. I, I brought attention to him, and now he's just going to bother me. Of course, how did the warden deal with Dagna's request? Uh, I, of course I helped her. Come in, no. Uh, Dagna left to study. Told Dagna the circle was destroyed. For the moment. I wonder how that would turn out in Inquisition. Dagna left to study. Yes. Right? That was... Refuse, didn't, refuse, but, nope, we left. Choose this answer. Well, we helped her, you know? Um, didn't encounter Marty? Did the warden have relations with Marty? Before being cast out of Orzammar? What? Uh, oh, a noble hunter. A dwarf up in to elevate her child's... Didn't have... Had relations. Wait, this is only if you have a, a male or a, a male dwarf. I had an elf. Female. That's a little weird. Let me know if that is some if there's something weird with that. No, I did not have a son because I'm a female for one thing. That's kind of interesting though. Interesting. That's kind of cool. If I play as a male dwarf someday, I might have to do that. I think that would be kind of nice. Like to, you know, help help a, somebody out. That's weird, though. I wonder if, there, if, I was, if I will see others like that. I'm writing that down just to double check. I did prove the Legion of the Dead. Did the Warden prove to Shepard that the Legion of the Dead was connected with a noble house? I don't really get how that works. Just because a noble joined the Legion of the Dead, that means that they... Or was it started by a noble house once long ago? I can't remember. I did prove it, though. I remember. Um, didn't look into stolen... Oh, I did. I sold tome to a fence. <laughs> okay. I returned the tome to the shape rate. Oh, yeah, that stolen one. Right, right, right. Not the one that proved the girl's birthright or anything, but that might be coming up. Okay. Didn't complete Rogex Lyrium deal. Uh, no, I, I don't think I did. Uh, I th was that the guy that I, like, he's like, hey, I got a little side deal for you. And I was like, uh, no thanks. And he was like, fine, then I'll have to kill you or something. Uh, maybe that would have actually been beneficial. He just came about such a turd, I'm pretty sure. I didn't even start it. Not that I didn't complete it, I didn't start it. 
I did help Orta join. Did the warden help Orta find the proof she needs to join? Did the warden help find the proof she needed to join the assembly as a member of House Ortam? I did. I helped her join the assembly. Eh, they're gonna be kind. Um. Oh, is that it? That's that's an empty space. Okay. Looks good to me. Broken circle. Oh, I should not have my mouse up there. I supported the mages. I defeated Odrid. The mage threat. And oh my gosh, you have to use the right of a moment. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I could ever do that. To be honest. Of course, I helped them. It just seemed like I was helping both, though, at the same time, you know? And that's why I was kind of confused that it was like, hey, look, you you sided with the mages. I was like, but the Templar is approved. <laughs> he survived! Yay! <laughs> look at that. Uh, no, I chose the answer. Stood resilient. Irving was one of many, many casualties of the broken and betrayed circle. Nope. He's like, yay! <laughs> that's so funny. Um... I did not agree to Cullen's request. Nope. I had to... I had to say no. Even though my warden sort of had a crush on him. But that was... That's, that's not gonna be like, Oh, sure, I'll kill him. She, it, was, it was just sadder that she had to, like... She knew his feelings for her. She had some feelings for him. But she couldn't... It was just sad, like, seeing how he... How he ended up. But... I did not agree. Okay. That was it for Broken Circle? Okay. So, could you still side with the mages while... Um... Killing the mages in the tower? Like, in the uh, harrowing room? Because that, that's agreeing with Cullen. Denerim... So that's all of them, right? Ernest of Grashes, Arl, Nature of the Beast, Kirk of Kind, Broken Circle. Yep, okay. Denerim. Whew, okay, not all of these. Sir La Land. Oh, that guy that I do remember. Wait. No, no, yeah, he was the guy who challenged us to a duel, and I was like, do you really want to fight me? Like, or that was an option. I was like, do you really want to fight me? But I think what I said was, um, Blogain lied. Can you really fight me if you don't know for sure that I'm at fault? And because he's a cheval... I, no, he's not a cheval. Is he? I don't know. Because chevaliers... I was reading the... Um, I want to call it The Empire Strikes Back. But that's not what it's called. The the fourth book in the Dragon Age series, which um, is about Selene and Briala and Gaspard. Um, and the Chevalier Code, I actually... Because I, before I kind of like skimmed through that, I was like, bleh, they're jerks. They like go and they like rape elf women or whatever you know in the in the alien ages but if you follow the code even gaspard who's kind of a dirtbag he's not like he's he's in a way he's very honorable i mean he's a man and does mess up every now and then but like despite him sort of being a villain he's very honorable for a villain and it was it was quite interesting sir michael is phenomenal his character Celine is Selene is less without his presence. Did he see it like survive? Like, I don't know if he survived the fifth blight, but I certainly didn't kill him. <laughs> uh, Oswin. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, torture room. I did. I told Ban Sigard about Oswin. Lock that in. Enraged by a substream, I'm pleasure to help the warden and the lands mate. That was very significant. Significant. Dinner room. Oh, okay. Um, oh, let's kind of go across. Didn't complete Sim Col Slim Cauldry's crime wave. I did not participate in a crime wave? The nobles of dinner still like their valuables a little tighter. Is this... If you were a rogue, you could do that? I did hear that if you were a rogue in Origins, you, in, in Awakening, you encounter someone called the Dark Wolf, I think. And in Origins, you have, the, you have the option to actually become the Dark Wolf yourself. And so you encounter them in Amaranthine, and you're like, you're a fake! <laughs> so, let's see. Had a rough upbringing and became dedicated to evening, to evening the score by stealing from nobles. So was this like a Red Jenny thing? Or 
but I don't know. It doesn't doesn't look like it. Because there was something, Sarah said something in Inquisition, or it was written down in something that it was like, it was like, it wasn't even Sarah maybe, it was just somebody, one of the Red Jennies who was sort of in charge, saying, we don't, we don't, there's only one rule we have, and that's not to conspire against another Red Jenny or something, like, and how how the fools in Denerim learn that the hard way, or some, like the fool Red Jennies in Denerim learn that the hard way. Yeah, I, I know I didn't. I did not, I'm gonna lock it in because I know I didn't do that. I think I would remember doing that. Um, didn't give Alstana. I did. Im im rim rim rim. Still racked by Lyrian withdrawal, sent proof of his disaster. Survival. Yes, I did. Because she helped me in the end. Mark Denerim. Uh, did not return. I did. I did, actually. I remember there was one that glitched out and it had, it was like a Chantry board quest. But I did, yes, giving her grandma's amulet. To the beggar woman, there was an measure. I just read like those two sentences, like halfway through each other. I did. Interesting that it's these things, that, like these little things, that make a big difference. I did encounter Goldana and a freaking. I okay, okay, okay. We diff we can't just say we we were a jerk though. But there's no picture for it. The warden helped Alistair locate Galdana. We did, but she was a witch. Well, not a witch. She was a mean lady. She was not actually not a witch. I, it's a substitute. <laughs> but I can't say witch because it's freaking... Well, I guess hedge witch is sort of a derogatory term. But some of the hedge witches are actually really powerful. They just have different types of magic. Um... But nobody's called, like, a witch or a wizard in this. They In Awakening, they made some Harry Potter jokes, which was funny, but... I do it if I'm lost, or did I lock that in? Um... We did encounter Marjolaine. Uh, I did bring the scroll to Sister Justine, though. Delighted to find a true antiquity, Sister Justine gleefully took this scrolls to study. She did indeed. Um, yeah. I did help clear customers out of them. The Pearl suffered the clumsy tensions of its patrons in a way that was deeply unsatisfying for all involved. The gentlemen were encouraged to leave. Um, ba -bum. I did handle. Yes, I did. Oh boy. Is that like his throat was slit or something? Did I have to kill them or did I just. I think I just persuaded them to leave. Pers pretty sure I did that. Let me know if I didn't. <laughs> didn't complete. I did not complete the assassinations. I only did one. I could have killed him. Um. I did not complete all of them. I only did one. Um, interesting. That's the picture they chose for Denerim. I did encounter Marjolaine. I sent her away. Pretty sure. No, did we kill? <gasps> we, uh, no, did we? Because we did both. But I think I ended up having her killed in the end. Oh, I'm going to have to double check. Because I was like, I don't want that hanging over my head, you know? Because at the time, when I first started out this game, you know, it was like, I was like all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. and But then this was, Denerim was after the deep roads, and I was just like, I am just, this is just, like my warden was tired and jaded, and I was tired and jaded. But, I mean, I don't know. Pretty sure I did not want her coming back to haunt us, so... Pretty sure we did that. Okay, looks good. Okay, so that, oh, now we have to do the lands meet and then the battle of Denerim. 
Um, Anora, Anora McTeer, daughter of Taryn Logan, assumed the throne in earnest. No, on the warden. Oh boy, that would be cool to do too. Oh wow, there's a bunch. Stepped up to become the king of Ferelden. Joined by the warden. Oh, okay. The Alistair and the warden rule. Alistair and Anora rule. Or just Alistair rule. What happens to Anora in that case? Like, I thought she earned the right to rule. Like, Alistair, just because he had the bloodline, does not deserve to rule. Like, that's just because you have the bloodline doesn't mean... The thing about blood... About monarchies being inherited is that part of the reason was because everybody gets training and I, I heard this some I can't remember exactly where but somebody was saying once maybe some sort of podcast or something that you know the reason monarchies worked was because it was basically an apprenticeship system like if you uh if you were a blacksmith like and you your you know your son was gonna become a blacksmith like you uh, you trained him from young from a young age or you apprenticed him out to somebody who could train him from a young age um, you don't trust just some random old, like, you know, cobbler's son to, like, put you together a knife. You know what I mean? They're each trained for different things from childhood, and they are, they are fairly expert in their field. Monarchy is the same thing. You don't generally just, you don't just pick any old person because the, the king's son is, or whoever, depending on how flexible your monarchy was, the Whatever heir you had was trained to become the next ruler. So they were, it was the training, not necessarily the blood, that was important. But eventually and quickly it became a neat, a blood thing. And, and it kind of started out, it probably just kind of started out that way too. But it's like in any monarchy, it's like, I am the best and my blood is the best. But it's like, basically it makes sense because it's the training they receive. And I know... You know, it's some really good, really good rulers had really crappy heirs, you know, but it's still, it's the, it's kind of, I think that's kind of where it logically bases itself from, that decision. But she earned the right, and she, from a child, she, from childhood, she was raised to be a leader, if nothing else, you know what I mean? So she had the training. And the experience. All Alistair had was that he was the bastard son of a king. Like, which sometimes can make really good kings, and he probably, he, I know he would have made a good king, but... My warden didn't know that. All she knew was this bumbling child boy who... I know... I've seen things where, like, you know... Like, from comics or something, I think. Like, canon stuff. That, you know, he can become a real bad A if he wants to. And he can, but it just wasn't... Uh, just wasn't gonna work out that way. What I am weirded out by is that it doesn't say that I got... I guess maybe it's, like implied that I got, like, the support or whatever of the lands meet. Okay, so that's, that's it, right? Oh, boy, wait. Okay, yes, sorry. Lands meet is done. We only have one choice for the lands meet. That's fine. So now we have the Battle of Jenarim. The warden killed the archdemon, eliminating him and shattering the forest, united the darkspawn, Alistair, or Loghain. The warden did. Dartha ran up there with the sword and she stabbed him. Um, is that it? Was that it for dinner room? Okay. And now we have the awakening and boop 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 boop. Yep. I did not kill the architect. I allowed him to live. Which, in retrospect, was maybe a bad decision, but at the time, it seemed justified. The keep was not protected. Amaranthine was protected. What? You can save the... How do you do that? What? Well, is that... Uh, is that because I did the upgrades on the keep? Uh, I'm gonna choose Ellen. Did I... Um, Nathaniel is alive and well. Yes, he is. Um, I couldn't help. It wasn't my fault. Did they part on bad terms? 
Oh, I ensured that they... Oh, no. Okay. Well, that was not my fault because it's the, the freaking Awakening is so glitchy. I had Ogren's approval up all the way, but the Awakening reset it, but acted like I'd still given him gifts, so any gifts I gave him were lower points. So I couldn't get his, his approval up high enough. Um, did I freaking... Because I... Okay, I'm going to choose this one for now, but let for sure let me know. Cause this, this, is, this is one that I can't look up. Like, I mean, I guess I can maybe look it up online, but I can't, like, look at my videos and be like, oh, I protected both of them. Because I didn't. I mean, it still shows the keep as being kind of broken, but I guess it's an, I mean, it's an old keep, but it's kind of broken here. Is it? Oh. I'm actually going to go with this because I fully upgraded the keep. So I I think I saved it because I think otherwise the keep would have been demolished. Because it got really bad hit. Like, to the point where I was like, what was the point of the upgrades? But freaking apparently the upgrades, like, saved it. So I'm going to choose that. Because that's not fair. Funny that this is, like, one. You don't We don't have any of the other companion quest options, it looks like. Uh, odd. Witch hunt. What? You can go through the Alluvian? What? What? You can stab Morrigan? What? Yeah, that's why she doesn't show up in Dragon Age 2. I mean, she wouldn't die in there. Obviously, she shows up in Inquisition, right? Oh my gosh, unless... She has to. She's like a... She, yeah, she's like a major character in Inquisition towards the end. So she probably, like, lives somehow, but... Could you only go through the Alluvian if you romanced her? Because I didn't see any options to go through with her. Um, I did not go through the Alluvian. Bummer. I did gain the power of blood! I did. I, I was like, what is this? And I just drank it. And I was like, mm, uh, well, okay. And no, they did not. Only Aver Avernus. Oh, um. Okay. The warden said, the Avernus laid Sophia and allowing uh, to continue his research without constraints. The warden has laid Sophia and allowed Avernus to continue his research under more ethical constraints. Yep. Okay. Stone prisoner. Shale is alive and well. <gasps> oh, Shale. We did? Oh, I did hear about that. It's like, Shale died when the warden sided with the bro with, with Braga. It's like, no, you have to kill Shale if you do that. Um, I... Shale is alive and well. Mm, they are both alive. Ooh, could you get, um... Amalia's possessed. Why? How? How is? How does he get possessed? Warda did not deal with Kitty. When Matthias went to do the job himself, the demon possessed him, though it left Amalia alive. Oh. Warda did not deal with Kitty. When Matthias went to do the job himself, the demon killed him, and thus traumatized his daughter alive. Warda attacked Kitty. When the demon died, its connection to Amalia killed the girl as well. Matthias was brokenhearted at his daughter's death. No, no, no. Gee, I didn't... Like, how would these these two outcomes happen? They're both alive, but, like, because I didn't do the job, I did not deal with the kitty cat, how would I know? Like, did I just, did I just, did I just leave, or what? Or, I don't know. Can you just not kill kitty? Ah, uh, they are alive, and Nada is possessed. Was there one more? Yes. Shale is, shouldn't that be the first one? Yes, Shale is recruited. Lending her might against the blight. Okay, I believe that's all of them for Origins. Let me know if I need to fix that. Um, let's see. Okay, interesting. Interesting. All right, I'm actually going to call this part here. Um, we'll kind of, maybe I'll put the 
well, those will probably have to do two parts, but I will make a third part for um, Dragon Age 2 so we don't have to worry about getting that split in half or anything. Anyway, thank you guys again for joining me. I'll see you in 